Hey guys, this is Ryan from Wad Figs, and we've got another customizing with Wad. Uh, long time coming. Uh, I haven't made one of these in a few months, I believe. And today we're making a WCW Lex Luger, and we will be using an Elite 28 Triple H, as well as Lex Luger and a few other fodder parts. Um, I am going to be making an Elite Royal Rumble Ultimate Warrior, the two-pack, the one that comes with John Cena. Uh, out of this body, so I figured I would do something with Lex Luger, and I don't really like this Triple H, plus there's shelf warming all over my Toys R Us, so I can pick one up, and I will most likely try to pick up another Lex Luger just because I really like it, but this is a custom I've wanted to make for a very long time, and I'm going to show you guys how you can make your very own WCW Lex Luger. Now let's go ahead and go to the customizing station where we're going to do some Hey guys, swaps. so now we're going to be arm swapping the Triple H, and we're going to use the Elite 27 Fandango arms, which I think are going to look good, but we're going to go ahead and test it out. Uh, these are already warmed up, so now we're going to warm up the Triple H arms using my trusty hair dryer. Now I think we can just pull them out without snapping the peg very easy. This one needs to be heated up a little bit more. See if that'll do it. Once again, a really important note is never force it, guys. Take your time. It's not worth it. We're now going to put on the Fandango arms. So let's see if maybe these can fit right on. And there we go. The arms are on. And I think they look pretty good, honestly. Um, they're not as wide as the Triple H arms but they do have a lot of toning and that's why I chose it and so now we're gonna go ahead pop this head on and we're gonna also head swap Lex Luger that's enough I know Triple H is most likely done so there goes Triple H now time for Luger who I don't think is there we go okay Luger is off we're gonna set this aside and let's go ahead and pop the Luger head on. And there we go. Luger's head is on. And the tones are pretty good. Uh, it does look really good, but this is Triple Luger and not Lex Luger. And so now we're going to do a knee swap, which we'll be right back in a quick moment. Okay, guys, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Uh, knee swap both of these because they are different knees these boots are longer and will make Lex a little bit taller so we're gonna go ahead and heat up the top of the knees that should be just about good enough Let's go ahead and uh, swap And them. so here we have it. The knee swap is complete. And you'll notice I didn't show you guys uh, me doing the knee swap. And that's because I'm going to be doing a very special tutorial video uh, on how to do knee swaps properly. So that will be coming soon. But the last thing we need to do is just remove the logo. And we're going to do that uh, in the ring uh, right now. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the Triple H logos on the trunks. And we're going to use my trusty nail polish remover so we're going to go ahead and pour some into my paper towel which is going to be off camera I promise you this is not chloroform I'm not trying to kill anybody so here we are now we're just going to brush away once again this gets really repetitive but it's just a brushing sequence that you just got to keep doing until all the paint is removed I'm going to try not to get it on any other part of the body or the lower torso or the legs And we're almost about done with the front. Sorry if it's a little off camera. I do have to do it where I can actually see it. But I think we might need to use a little bit more nail polish remover. That's just about it for the front. I am going to touch it up a little bit off camera so I'll be right and back. And booyah like magic we are done with our NWA Lex or WCW slash NWA Lex Luger 
custom and honestly this looks really really great uh, I might swap the knee pads with shorter ones but not a hundred percent confirmed but I'm really happy with this and the most important thing about this custom is it's accurate and it's easy and I think those are the two most important things when it comes to simple fix ups and customs and I encourage you guys to do this because I do like this a lot go ahead and tell me what you guys think anything I should fix give me some notes tell me what to do you are my bosses now thank you for watching and as always drive safe